help is to understand our morality, understand what it means to keep my uh, morality, and when we understand that, then we keep our morality as much as we can. Understanding, we don't have any doubt about morality. That means that we understand why we have to stay from healing, why we stay from stealing, etc. The fourth thing is we need to be close to those who are with, who are wise, who are like our shadow or those uh, other shadow that we know who are wise, so we can stay close and we can gain the, the teaching. They can teach us more and more the right the right things to do. Number five is we need to stay close to our friend who are um, we call who we call the uh, friend who um, close to us who can really uh, know uh, what is good what is bad so that we can um, someone who is uh, uh, tend to practice mindfulness also someone who can keep their morality also and sometimes who can practice to gain some wisdom if we stay close to them, then we can also gain this benefit. And the last thing is try to say to say something. When we say something that is, is suitable, uh, and when we say something is suitable, is true, it's, and is suitable. Because of that, then the thinking mind will rise less. So those are the six things that we can practice uh, to to allow the mind to stay calm and less thinking. So that's the answer to the second question. Now there's question number three. Um, the yogi said that after walking and sitting meditation, uh, she tried to know very clearly the rising and falling movement. She fell on uh, and she, I, I'm, I'm going to say it's a she. Um, she, um, she felt very relaxed. And then she lay down to take some rest. And as she lay down, she then felt a, a flow of air uh, that she cannot describe uh, around the body. And she felt that the movement become very fast, but then it stopped. It just becomes uh, become slow down and stop. And at that moment, she felt like the whole body, there's an electrical flow around the whole body. And her, her whole body is being lifted up a little bit. She felt that the body is light and being lifted up. And then it's turned around like a fan. She felt like the, the body turning like a fan. And at the same time, she feels that she can hear the sound of someone, of a, a gentleman. The sound, but she cannot understand what, what he was saying. And then slowly, then the movement, like a fan of her body and mind, beginning to slow down and then she land back down very gently. And then she can aware of that gentle sensation and then she sleep, uh, gently sleep, uh, just naturally sleeping. So she uh, wonder what that experience is about and she asked Sado to uh, help her understand. Um, Sado answered that sometimes with the practice, sometimes we can uh, describe what we are seeing um, to our mind. Uh, but sometimes the object becomes so fast and so subtle that we cannot describe it. We just know it as it is. Uh, and we also see that they come and go. That's the main thing to see and to know. But sometimes we can describe them, sometimes we can just, just not, cannot, but we see them as they are. We see they come and they go. So, Sometimes we can describe that there is a, the flow of the air, but we cannot describe so much about them. Uh, but we see them, so there is no imagining at that moment. It really is happening. We really uh, see them. We see that they arise, they disappear. Then at that moment, it is not imagining. It is a, what we call ultimate reality, because the nature of the wind uh, uh, the movement, the flowing, the uplifting. So we really feel it as it is, but we also see that it's not the same. It's changing. It's changing nature. And uh, and then sometimes we feel like there's the flow of electricity going through our body uh, because of the energy through our practice. You know, because of the you know, working our body and mind. 
là yin and yang like the positive and negative uh, charge and there's a flow and then we feel like an electric, electrical flow and we just aware of that also as it is to see how it um, how it um, manifests and then sometimes we feel like the body is lifted up that is also a sensation we feel like the body is very light there's a very like a very lift up at this at that moment just aware of that also and see that that sensation itself also arise and the sensation also disappear it arise and it disappear and it doesn't stay uh, permanently uh, and sometimes we can feel like there's a voice that we can hear now several said that this could be imagining if there's a voice um, especially a voice of a gentleman or a man uh, just know them as hearing you know that any sound arise because it touched the ear and it the sound we can hear then we should know them as hearing so whether we imagining or we uh, just hearing something just know that as hearing uh, then we can let go of the concept there's no man there's no woman there's no sound of man there's no sound of woman just the sound arise and we are hearing it and because of that then we can see the nature that the sound itself come and go the hearing consciousness come and go um, so that's where we end Sador lead a short meditation um, again Sador said the important thing is when we sit we should be relaxed we aim the mind to the first object the primary objects of rise and falling movement and from there whatever uh, have whatever arise through our sixth sense door at the present moment it should be noted noted or labeled a few times and when that reduced or disappeared then we aim the mind back to rise and fall movement again so that, that's where we start this morning uh, now we will continue with the practice i believe now we'll see um, now will be the sitting meditation thank you very much